Hey, it's Les from the TV Dudes. This week, I got to sit down and chat with Ashley Gerasimovich. She's done an amazing amount of work so far in her career, everything from 30 Rock to We Need to Talk About Kevin. Most recently, you can see her in The Detour, where she plays Delilah Parker. We chatted about a bunch of stuff, and then we got down to an important question, her favorite Steven Universe song. I hope you enjoy. Hey, thanks so much for taking time to talk to me today. Oh, thank you for talking to me. <laughs> Looks like you guys are about to start season three of the Detour. Yeah, we already we already started airing a few episodes. It's going great. Oh, that's awesome. I had read, sorry, I'm just going to jump right in. I had read that when possible, you tried to show up to audition without script, having memorized. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah, totally. Are there any tricks or tips or how do you, uh, how do you go about prepping? So we... I rehearsed with my siblings, and because saying it out loud, I read somewhere is like reading it in your head seven times. So um, it's good if you want to help like memorize back and forth scripts. And if you have a giant paragraph that you need to memorize, look at it bit by bit and like kind of make it into one sentence lines and then just put it all together in your head. So after you've done all that, is there a whole lot of improv on set of the detour? Yes, there is. There is a lot of improv. Since the writers work on set, there's like, um, how do I put this? Like, sometimes they just go up to the actors and say, hey, can you say this instead? And we're like, sure. And the actors have freedom to change or add lines or take out lines as long as it works with the scene. Has there been a favorite one of those moments where you've gotten to swap out a line and gone, oh, that's much better? Yeah, there was in the pilot of the first season, actually, they told us to, like, argue in the background, me and Jared, Jared. Um, so we, like, were arguing about Toddy and, like, how Jared thinks he's the Oracle and I think he's, and Delilah thinks he's an idiot. So we went back and forth and... Uh, we were they were pretty I think they were impressed with like how they how we came up with like good arguing and stuff because he because Jared said he says he's the oracle and I say and I say back that's what an idiot would say I've seen that episode that was great I'd also seen that you like to draw and paint yeah absolutely what are you, what's your favorite things to draw what do you like to draw I love drawing comics like and just like I have a very cartoony style of drawing, so drawing comics and stuff really helps improve that. And it's in the everything notebook, quote unquote, I have, where it's along where it's mixed in along with my homework for the day or my social studies notes. There'll just be a bunch of doodles everywhere. <laughs> yeah, I think all my all my tests and notes and stuff in school had drawings in the margins. So, who's your favorite comic artist right now? Well, to be honest. I think it would be um, my older sister was my inspiration from the start, kind of, because I'm I saw her like drawing and improving, and I'm like I got to get better at this. <laughs> but so she, and she's gotten so much better, and I'm actually really impressed with how she does it. So I think she is right now. <laughs> On the indie film A Different Sun, mm -hmm. you got to use a German accent. Was it tough to get that accent down? It's actually really strange. Like, when I first got the audition, somehow I could do it. Like, I could do a German accent. And even when I worked with the dialect coach, I got so much better at it. She was really helpful. Shout out to the dialect coach. Uh, anyway. Um, but once the movie was over, once I finished filming, once I finished with all those months and stuff, people asked me, oh, can you do the German accent? And I tried. And it came out really bad. I couldn't do it. It was weird. I could only have. I only had it for the audition and the job. <laughs> you had you had mentioned uh, social studies homework and and stuff earlier. How does filming in Canada or or your filming schedule fit in with public school? Well, they have a tutor on set, and also she was really helpful. Like without the without the tutor, I would have been like. I would have been like at least a month and a half behind my work, which is kind of the point. They're supposed to help you catch up a bit. 
Um, they are supposed to help you catch up. Um, I um, worked with her a lot, and once I came back, it was a lot less harder to try to catch up to the rest of my class. So we brought we brought my work over to Canada, and the teachers like posted on the websites and like emailed us, helped us out, and then we did it along, and then we did it with the tutor, and I came back, and I was like, hey, guys, I'm ready to do it. What, what are you guys doing now? <laughs> was it fun being in Canada? I loved being in Canada. Canada was amazing. Uh, everything was translated to French, so I picked up a few words with that. <laughs> I think Sam means without. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. And But... I've been to Barbados a couple of times as like a family vacation for your question. I uh, haven't been to any other foreign countries. It was really cool. But I haven't been up north to Canada before. So that was a really new experience. I've only been to Montreal. And so, yeah, everything was everything was in French. But, yeah, I, I loved it up there. It's great. Yeah, I was in the airport for Montreal. That was one of the few places where French translated to English. Most of it was English and then the language underneath was French. So is there a book that you're currently reading? Well, in school, we just finished reading Of Mice and Men, and I like I love that book. It was, I, I love Lenny. Lenny, I just, we just wanted to tend the rabbit. Is that your favorite book that you've been assigned? I know sometimes I remember getting books assigned in school that I read again later and went, oh, I, I love this now. I just didn't like it because I was made to read it. I definitely loved Of Mice and Men, even though we were made to read it. And that's pretty rare when it comes to school stuff. So, yeah, it was one of my favorites that we were assigned to read. Uh, what's your favorite book that you that you just found on your own? Well, my favorite book that I've read on my own was... Uh, I, I started reading the series, but I never got around to finishing it. It was Percy Jackson. I read it. The Lightning Thief, and I started reading part of Sea of Monsters, but I never got around to finishing it. Is there an adaptation you'd love to do, or love to have the lead in? Okay, bringing that to some a completely different series. I saw this. I saw this. There was they're making like three movies of this, and I saw the first. There's like this textbook that J.K. Rowling did for Harry Potter, and it's called Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. I'm sure you've heard of at least the movie. Yes. Yeah. And. I saw that first movie, and I loved it so much. It was amazing. It was an amazing movie. I loved what they could do with just making a bunch of miscellaneous like um, creatures in a textbook, or Fantastic Beasts, I should say. Mm-hmm. Um, but I loved that movie so much, and I would love to take part in like the second or third movie. I think they're making three. <laughs> I'm sure they're definitely not done with the Harry Potter universe. <laughs> Definitely not. What's been your favorite day on set uh, from this past season of of Detour? Any particular thing jump out that you just loved? Well, the day that I loved the most was the first day I saw the alpacas. I I love working with animals in general on set, and so and I've never seen an alpaca before. I've seen a llama, but I've never seen an alpaca before. So. I ran up to the trainer and I said, can I give it a hug? And he said, yes. So I gave it several hugs. One for me, one for my older sister, and mostly for me. She texted me saying, give it a hug for me. And I'm like, okay, I will. And <laughs> she kept texting me, did you give it a hug? Did you give it a hug? And I'm like, yes, I did. <laughs> are they as soft as they're, are they super soft? Yes, they are. You're supposed to hug them on their necks. So, it's, yes, they're super soft around there. Yeah. That's great. So what's the toughest scene that you've had to film on, on any project? Anything that was just particularly hard to emote or, or just tough to nail? Well, I, I love all my jobs, just, like, putting that out there. But when I was, like, six years old, I was I did the movie We Need to Talk About Kevin. I'm, um, so spoiler alert for those who haven't seen it. My character, Ophelia, dies in the movie. Kevin shoots her in the back with an arrow. So, like, laying still on the, on the lawn, well, like, they had me hold my breath because whenever I breathe, the arrow would move, and they're like, nope, nope, can't do that. So they told me to hold my breath for, like, 20 seconds at a time. That was a, lot, that was a bit of a long time for my tiny little lungs at the time. 
So, yeah, it was kind of hard to get down, but I did it. It was really fun. I loved everyone on that set as well. Yeah, that's the, that's a tough movie to watch. That's an amazing movie, though. <laughs> Complete opposite end of the spectrum. I had read somewhere that you uh, were a big Steven Universe fan. Yes, absolutely. Love the show. Yeah, let's get down to business. <laughs> I loved the Weirdo song on Detour. Do you have a favorite Steven Universe song? Oh my god, there's so many good songs on that show. Oh, what if I had to decide? If I absolutely had to decide, it would be Stronger Than You. That is the greatest song on the show, if I absolutely had to decide. We are in complete <laughs> agreement. That's the song that I've played for friends of mine. Of like, no, you should give this show a shot. Check this song out. <laughs> yes. I told my science teacher when we were doing the Rocky Mineral Unit, I was like freaking out over like various minerals on there that happen to be characters on the show and he was like what is going on and i'm like it's, it's just the show and you should watch it you like it you have a collection of minerals they all have relationships you don't know about yeah probably well that's that's really all the questions that i had thank you so much for uh taking time today to talk to me i really appreciate it i've, I've loved watching you on the detour you're hysterical thank you so much I really like talking to you. You're great. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you. You too. Bye. Bye. The TV Dudes is an independently run podcast and a member of the Permanent Record Podcast Network. We are exclusively listener supported. If you'd like to help us out, please go to patreon.com slash TV Dudes. You can like us on Facebook and Twitter at TV Dudes and help us out on iTunes by giving us a five star rating and writing a review. To find out more about us, go to the TV Dudes.com and permanentrcrd.com. I'm Grant Davis. Thanks for listening.